Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a lot of money by buying and selling digital assets. What I'm going to show you works exceptionally well if you already have a business that you want to grow or if you are new to it and you haven't started a business yet and you don't want to start from the rock bottom then what I'm going to show you today is going to be exceptionally valuable to you. So now I'm not going to waste any more time I'm going to show you how you can jump straight in and start making money buying and selling websites today. Okay so I'm over here on Flippa and as you can see the domain name up here is just Flippa.com and Flippa is a marketplace so it's a marketplace that you can buy and sell digital assets what i mean by digital assets is either websites apps amazon fba businesses or domains basically assets that have the ability to generate cash online and flip it is the number one marketplace for buying or selling these things i've spent you know so much time on flipper over the last few years just looking at the different businesses for sale on Flippa, just seeing businesses you know sell for hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars and other businesses selling for as little as one and two hundred dollars and it's amazing to see you know the differences between high valued uh, businesses digital assets and lower valued digital assets and oftentimes the people selling the assets really don't know what they're selling you know they might only know one specific business model and if they can't make money following that business model then they simply just want to sell that business and move on to the next business but that's where people like me and you can profit from this because if you have a skill set for example if you have launched you know private label brands on amazon you know how to launch them profitably then you can look for websites that are not currently doing this and roll out private label products to this website so for example a lot of websites make money from affiliate sales simply using amazon's affiliate program and what this does is when a customer comes on to your website and clicks on the product that they want to purchase it sends them over to amazon to this product listing then if they make a purchase off this product then you will get a small commission as the website owner but this commission is only between six and eight percent of a commission that you would get if the customer makes a purchase whereas you could go ahead and purchase that same website and direct the traffic to your private label listings on amazon and make a lot bigger profit from the sales that the current owner is making because they are only uh, getting paid a smaller commission as an affiliate for the sales that they're making on Amazon whereas you will be making a much bigger commission as a brand owner on Amazon or vice versa you know you might have a skill off building uh, websites but you might know anything about private label or about Amazon FBA so you might go out and purchase an Amazon FBA business that has all of this done for you the products in Amazon and you can simply either sell these products direct on your own website or send customers over to Amazon from your website to purchase these products. These are the two main types of businesses that I look at when I'm searching a Flippa is either the websites for sale or Amazon FBA businesses for sale. But you can also look at apps for sale or domains for sale. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click on websites for sale then what you want to do is you just want to enter in your niche up here whatever niche it is that you're interested in so for this example I'm probably just going to put in a pet and then as you can see here you get a list of all the pet niche related uh, websites that are for sale and over here you will see the money that the site is currently selling for so uh, these are done by auction so the bid is currently at 3200 and as you can see here the buy it now price is 3700 so if you wanted to go ahead and just purchase this site now you could pay $3,700 and purchase this site but I'm going to just scroll down through a few of them and just show you uh, what I look for when I'm looking at sites and the valuation of websites because there is some amazing deals out there to be had on Flippa so I'm just going to scroll down and basically I'm just looking here at the, the cost what the bids are currently at what the buy it now price is and here what business model they're following so you can see 
this is dropship ready pet store again sometimes i would click into this and have a look but oftentimes i'm looking here for revenue they usually have revenue put here if the site is making revenue not all the time but but a lot of the time they will have the revenue here so as you can see here this site here says monetization uh, dropship net profit 333 dollars per month and this, the bids are currently at fifteen hundred dollars not sure if this auction is still going but i'm just going to click into it anyway so this auction ended without a winner it didn't meet the price they were looking for uh, the auction ended at 1500 but they didn't sell but i'm just going to scroll down and just read a bit about this website and explain it to you what i look for when looking for these types of digital assets so as you can see here they just give you a brief overview of what the site is it's dropship uh, cat and dogs pet supply store over 100 products in store uh, making an average of 333 per month and can easily scale up and beyond ranks in the top one to three position for many core keywords so straight away you can see that this site is seo ready that just means that it's optimized for the search engines if they're saying that it's ranked in the top one to three positions for many core keywords uh, then what that's referring to is on google it's ranking well for some of its main keywords but then down here you can see a graph here showing the revenue and profit so as you can see it reached a high of 3100 in total gross revenue back in october but i'm just going to scroll down here further so this graph you can see easier so as you can see the revenue is falling here so that would be the reason why they're looking to get out of it because the revenue is falling but what you should be doing before you go ahead and purchase any site like this or any business on flipper you should look and be able to identify the reason why the revenue is falling or why you believe this business isn't working for them so it could be something you know just as simple as the business model they're following is flawed so it could be you know just with drop shipping that they were maybe over reliant on facebook ads and now that the cost of facebook ads is going up that their profit margins are just being squeezed extremely tight and that's why their revenue is falling because maybe they're not spending as much on ads as they were and their profit is also falling so i'm just going to scroll down here and just see you know if this is the reason because again there can be lots of different reasons and that's what you have to identify before you purchase any of these sites so as you can see may 17 they started off 1800 in revenue 1400 in costs and 300 in profit so straight away you can see their costs are very high here and that probably is due to advertising expenditure and yeah you can see no matter how much their revenue went up their their profit stayed relatively low so that just means the more revenue they were making the more they were probably spending on advertising that is the reason why their profit has stayed low and you will see this a lot and that is why over the next short while these businesses will be going for extremely low costs is because this drop shipping business model that has been taught a lot recently about drop shipping from aliexpress is simply not a viable business model the way it has been taught the way it's been taught to just go out uh, find products that are the exact same as everyone else's on aliexpress put them on your own store and pay for facebook ads uh, to generate sales because facebook ads the cost of these are just going up the amount of people you know selling the exact same product is increasing so your profit margins are slipping all the time so you will see a lot of businesses that rely on drop shipping as their main source of income coming up for sale and the price of these uh, websites dropping over the next while as more and more of these websites come up for sale that's why it's a great time to be in the market for one of them now because you can simply go and private label one of these products that they are drop shipping and sell that from your site and make a lot better profit margin on it than you will be if you're selling the exact same products as everyone else and you can you know decrease the shipping time on your products have them shipped to you or shipped to a prep center or warehouse near you and then shipped out to the customer locally when it sells so that you're reducing the shipping time because again that's a big issue with the drop shipping business model 
if it is you know being drop shipped from aliexpress in china is simply the delivery time is too long and you're not getting as many customers to purchase so your ads are going to cost a lot more to send more traffic through to your site and it's not going to convert at a high rate like it would if you were shipping locally with quick shipping times so i'm just going to scroll down and read another bit and again you can see everything that's included here in the site they'll go through it all and one thing that i always look for is i look for sites that have an existing email list so again a site that's been making a lot of sales even if they weren't making profit or much profit on the sales in the past these are still very valuable uh, emails to have especially you know if they've opted in to receive a marketing which they will have if they've purchased from these sites because you can market out your new products to all of these emails so if you do decide to go and private label one of these products straight away you could have an email list of 5,000 people that have purchased this type of product off this website in the past and you can advertise your new product to them and this would allow you to launch your new product to the top of Amazon as well as listing it on your own website and selling it from this website in the future you could simply use the email list to launch your products you know on Amazon which is extremely important when you're launching on Amazon because you are able to generate sales from the start a lot of sales and this will push you right to the top of Amazon which is a lot more powerful than sending the sales through your own website because sending the sales through your own website you will get sales from it but that's all it's not going to improve your ranking whereas if you send them through Amazon then you can improve your ranking but you can also list this private label product on your own website and either run Facebook ads to it or just let organic sales come to your product from the SEO that's already been done on this website I'm going to just keep scrolling down and seeing what else is with this site so basically here they're just explaining that they do do the drop shipping they're saying buy low sell high they're selling it the same way that most people sell drop shipping which is buy low sell high but they don't explain all about you know the cost of facebook ads continuously increasing and if this is what the site is dependent on then the cost of running these ads is going to be extremely high and reduce the profit margin significantly so yeah that's just explaining how you earn if a customer orders an item for 300 dollars and you have to pay 50% to the supplier the other 50% is your profit and that is the case if your sales are coming from organic sales such as SEO or you know if you have YouTube videos or some kind of free traffic going to your site so I'm just gonna see what free traffic they have so they do have a YouTube channel you can check out their YouTube channel here they give you the links they have a Facebook page they have a Pinterest page they have a Twitter page they have an Instagram page, they have a blog, but I don't see anything about an email list, which again would be the most valuable, or if they had a messenger list on Facebook, which again you could build very easily, especially if they have an okay size audience already on Facebook. So what you could do is copy and paste over these URLs and check out their different social media sites, you know, just to see how many followers they do have. So I'm going to just do this now. So as you can see over here, they have 643 uh, people follow their page and 647 uh, people like their page on Facebook and they have some content up there already. So, you know, it's not a big audience they have over on Facebook, but it's an okay size audience. You know, it's better than better than nothing when you're starting out. So I'm just going to jump back. And again, you can go through all of their social media um channels and just see how many followers they have in total because the more followers they have obviously the better because this is going to make it extremely easy to launch your new products to the more followers that they have and especially if they do have an email list or somewhere that you can contact their customers directly so now just to read how can the how can the future owner improve the business so he says, or the person selling the site says, focus on writing good content, blog, blog articles to help with the SEO and put out more videos. If you're lazy like me, then you can go to Fiverr and get it done for literally pennies on the dollar. Okay, so this guy or girl is saying that, you know, the best way to grow the site is by creating blog articles and improving the SEO even further off the site, which again 
is a great way to do it because you're getting free traffic from your blog and from your search rankings in Google but of course they haven't mentioned about private labeling some of these products you know a lot of store owners won't even know about this or have any experience with this type of business so this is where the real value can be added with a business like this is you can simply come in and private label some of the products that they are already selling and either improve them slightly which is what i would definitely recommend you to do is just look for ways to improve the product so that your product is differentiated from the competition and then i would launch the product to these existing customers but i would launch the product on amazon using amazon fba and get the product ranked on amazon so that you have sales coming in and you are making profit off amazon you know from very early on because you will be using these existing customers to launch to which is the most costly part of running an amazon launch is gathering new customers so you're getting all of these customers who have already purchased from this brand and liked this brand social media pages so they're already engaged with this brand and you will be able to get them to purchase your private label product off amazon and launch it this way and again what i would do here if i was you know seriously interested in purchasing the site i would go up here and i would click on contact seller and i would contact the seller and just ask him what other information has he about the customers does he have you know their mobile phone numbers does he have their email addresses because the more information that he has the more ways that you have to contact the customers the easier it is going to be to launch to these existing customers you know even if he is only a few hundred customers information and they have signed up to receive promotional messages from them which again with these websites usually when they purchase from them whether it's drop shipping or whatever items they're purchasing they tick a box to agree to receive promotional messages so if they have done this and he or she has the information of their previous customers which again i would suspect that they have because they've made you know a good few sales so they should have all of these customers information then this will be an extremely valuable website to purchase just making this small tweak by private labeling some of their best selling products and making a higher profit margin on them and growing the brand onto amazon would improve the valuation of this business massively and you could turn around and flip this website in six months time you know for 10 times what it's selling for today if you were just to make these small changes and there is loads of these types of websites that you can do this with i've only looked at the time now and i have to shoot off so i'm just going to leave it at this one today but i'll definitely come back and shoot more of these videos if you like watching these videos so if you do then please comment down below saying you want to see more of this type of video and i will shoot a lot more of these types of videos showing you more case studies of how you can improve the value off businesses and purchase different businesses and sell different businesses and things like that if you have interest in that then please comment down below and i will shoot more videos like this going into more depth on this subject so that's it for this video i hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed it the unique private label course and the advanced private label course are currently both closed at this time i'm currently working with the members inside the unique private label course and i'm upgrading the advanced private label course if you are interested in taking any of these courses whether you're new to amazon fba and just want to get started then click below on the unique private label course and enter your email address and i will email you when this course opens again and the same if you are already selling on amazon but you want to know the strategies that i'm using to grow my sales and profit on and off Amazon then click on the advanced private label course and leave your email address and when I open this course shortly which I will be doing very soon I will email you letting you know that this course is now open and you can join it then I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one bye